Hello friends, this video on semiconductors part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 22 before going ahead with part 23. We will now talk about transistor circuit configurations. Now a transistor has three different configurations in which it is arranged in a circuit. Like till now I was telling you only about the structure of the transistor. What does it consist of? It has emitter, it has base, it has collector. How do we bias a transistor? I was telling only about those things. Now when we connect a transistor in a circuit, there are three ways in which we can connect the transistor in circuit. So these different ways are known as transistor configurations. Right? So what are those config three configurations? One is called common emitter configuration. One is common base configuration. And the third one is common collector configuration. The configuration or the connection of a transistor in a circuit should be such that one of the emitter, base or collector terminal is common to the other two. Either emitter is common to base and collector or base is common to emitter and collector or collector is common to emitter and base. So one, of, one out of these three should be common to the other two. So let us look at the common emitter configuration. If you look at it, this is your emitter, this is base and this is collector. So here you see emitter is the one which is grounded. So that means emitter is common to this base. So we have written as V input. That means the input is applied between emitter and base. And the output can be obtained between collector and emitter. So emitter acts as a reference between the base and the collector. So if I say that what if I connect a complete circuit here, I can see that base emitter compromises of the input circuit and emitter collector forms the output circuit. Right? Let us look at the common base configuration. Here if you see, base is the one which is grounded. So the one, the terminal which is grounded is the common terminal. Because sometimes you also have questions where you are given complicated diagrams and then you are asked, uh, tell me, uh, how the transistor is arranged, I mean what is the configuration of the transistor in this circuit. So always remember that the one which is common between the other two, common with the other two is always grounded. So here your emitter is grounded so it is common to base and collector. In this case the base is grounded. So base is common to emitter and again base is common to collector. So in the base, so here base emitter forms the input circuit, base collector forms the output circuit. In the third one, collector is the common one. So here if you see, collector is grounded, right? So base collector circuit forms the input circuit and emitter collector circuit forms the output circuit, right? Okay, so these are the three different transistor circuit configurations. However, out of these, common emitter is the most common transistor circuit configuration. So here also, whatever we will study, Further, we will use common emitter configuration. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.